Ooh, look at that. Oh, Cecilia. I'm so impressed. Okay, can I see every rolling? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so this is your rectus. Then we have the external oblique, the internal oblique, and then this thingy right here is your TA. Okay, mm -hmm. so we have beautiful layers. Now we are not so much concerned about these two top layers, but this oblique and this TA should not be um, more than a ratio of two is to one. So you see how this guy is thick? Right. This is tiny. Yeah. This should be half, but no less than half of this size. Okay. So okay. right now if I measure this, this does seem to be less than half. Okay. But if I ask you to do a core contraction, so squeeze your core for me, whatever that means to you. Okay. So what we saw is this whole muscle was kind of, you see how it dragged down mm -hmm. and then let go and then it goes back to normal, right? So your TA is corseting, so it moves to the side of your abdomen and that is a deep layer of muscle that we want to activate each time. Okay. So a lot of people get back pain when they do exercising because they don't recruit the right muscle. They work a lot of obliques and superficial muscles and the inner muscle that really stabilizes you does not kick in. Okay, so let's see if we can make it kick in. So look at this. Look, see these two white lines? Mm -hmm. So do your core, but do it very little. So Gently. do 10% of what you think you need to do. Good, and let go. Good. Let's try it again. We're looking at this. So do just a little bit there and stop. So we, that's pretty good. Okay, now can you imagine you want to fog your glasses if you're a pair of glasses you're trying to clean just go <sighs> mm -hmm. so okay. do that yeah do that wait 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 oh. not yet okay sorry yep now do that good and again and now do a kegel think of doing a kegel squeeze wow, your I... pelvic floor muscles okay you're doing that yeah good and let okay. go Okay, now take a big breath for me. Breathe out. Good. Another big breath. Breathe out. Good. And now when you breathe out next time, do a little kegel. Squeeze your pelvic floor with the out breath. Good. Okay. So you saw a little corseting. Now yeah. do that fogging the glasses again and again. Okay. Now do your core and let go. So we, we I, I like that we are seeing the corseting. That's mm -hmm. already a good sign. Um, that got better. So let's do that again. Do a little fogging. Good. And again. Good. Okay. So now if you measure this. You see we got a little more thickness there? Yeah. So the muscle is there, it's working, it just uh, has to be triggered. So 11 and 8.5. Impressive. Wow. Very good. It's there, we just have to work it. Okay. Can mm -hmm. you do... Um, so let's see if the front and the back muscle, this is a little tricky, okay? So imagine you want to stop the flow of pee, not poop. Mm -hmm. Okay, you did that? Do I, yeah. Okay. So that's hard. Um, that is hard. Yeah. You want to focus on the front muscle. Yeah, not the back, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, and let go. And now do the back muscles. So you did pretty good with both. Um, do the front again. The front is harder. Front is harder, yeah, I could tell. But the front causes more thickening. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when we do the front, the front muscles and the TA usually work together. They co-contract. All your pelvic co-contracts with TA, but the front does it a little more. So when you do front, you're getting a little more thickening. So if you ever go to a Pilates class and you want to work out, you want to think of squeezing at the front when you do like a crunch or something and then you're getting better activation. 
Okay. Okay, cool. All right. Do you want to drink up more water? Mm-hmm.